Of course, guys, first of all, if you do want to buy any FIFA 22 coins, make sure to check out U7 Buy in the description and use code RECOIL for 5% off. What is going on, guys? So we're back for the first time in a while. I'm going to be showing you how to make your first 100K on FIFA 22. Of course, please check out the coin sponsor. Obviously, they're a great deal of help. And for those of you who struggle to trade, it's a good way of making a ton of coins at the start of FIFA. Of course, if you do want to be in the chance for getting a place in the Discord, drop a comment down below. And of course, we are still doing the giveaway. So a PS five or the new xbox and i am a monitor you've also got 12,000 fifa points and i'll be giving away one football shirt of the winner's choice so we are going to be doing that at 10k so we're about k and a little bit away so make sure to subscribe but let's get into it So first of all, guys, I want to go with what I've done so far. So if you are new to FIFA, you won't be getting any welcome packs. But if you're not, you get a few welcome packs. Now, from mine, I've got a few players. Now, I did also uh, have some free FIFA points that uh, I got, um, which I will explain to you guys how I got them at some point. And I am going to be giving some away. Uh, but I've got a few players here. You can see who I've got. Um, we've got Kovacic, who isn't a bad uh, poll. I think once the game's out, I'm definitely going to be wanting to sell him on. So what you want to do is basically work out who's meta. So players like this, all the ones I'm selling, you can say no one's meta. Anyone above 90 pace, I'd say try and keep. Players like Davies, for example, if you have a look right now, he's going for 600. And to be honest, right now, it's better for me to have the coins than it is for me to lose them. So players like that, you want to get rid of. Felipe Anderson, if you look at the league, Italy, 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 it's probably not a bad shout to keep him because he's got quite a nice card. Skill-wise, four-star, four-star, he's doing pretty well. So players like Davies, you get rid of them and you want to get the quick coins from them and you want to use that to then fund a little bit of trading. Now, Estepinian here, not really going to be going for a lot. You've just got to think every FIFA, who's the cards going for a lot. Now, I'm going to put a bit of money that Kovacic will. Uh, 88 dribbling, 70 pace, not bad. Fabian might do. I'm happy to have the risk. Missouri looks good and so does Everton. Now, if we go across here, not a lot of these players do. So I'm definitely going to sell a lot of these off. Now, what you want to be doing is finding the players who are worth not much but are actually going to be worth a lot once the game comes out now for, for making your first 100k as we've got in the title and as we're going to do today players like Pulisic let's have a look at him 2.8k is that card going to be 2.8k upon the release not a chance so if you have the coins to invest definitely pop a few of him out now we are of course a sniping channel we are going to try and see if we can get a good snipe let's see what he's going for and see what we can get him for so we've got 3k one there straight off the bat have we missed that have i missed that we have we have so i believe he's going to go for what what's going on here then is that is that just not recent ah that's why we need to i've completely forgot how to snipe boys so was a 3k which is nice he's not going for buy now is anything less than what seven we've got the seven mark okay uh let's have a look a little bit higher than that 7.4 so seven's where we're sitting to make profit realistically we need to pick him up at so seven uh, 350 so here is 50 coins profit and then if we want to get a little bit more than that we go a little bit higher now obviously anything here as an investment is going to be a win so i'd say if we can get him for maybe six or below i'm very happy so 6.3 not bad we're going to go for another one and then i'll sell off a few players uh, possibly just doing some discard in there. We'll go for a six, see if we can grab a six. And we can do an immediate sell on of a six because it's not a bad uh, a bad shout, really. He's going to go, go up 5.5 there. We've got that one. So we're going to sell that one on for, I'd say, let's have a look. We'll pop it up for 6.8 for the video. 10% 10, 10 would be 6.80. So we'll make, lose 340 on tax. It's still quite a good profit. Actually, still a 1,000 coins profit there. So once that one's sold, let's have a look, see if any more come up. We can see... How frequent this guy is actually going to be coming up here so let's have a look it doesn't look like there's a ton which is okay so there's a 6k there so to be fair we did quite well we've got a 5.5 five, and we've got one of the that's just, just over the six mark anyways an investment now if you want to keep going with him if you've got the coins to do that you can obviously you can see my coins have run out so we obviously now want to go for something that's going to be a little bit better for the coin so let's have a look at a Premier League Oh, so we've got to go. That's interesting. You've got it's a different system here. So let's have a look at Premier League strikers. Um, we're obviously going to go for gold as the minimum, and let's have a look under 900 coins. So we've got quite a few here. 
Um, so they're not really the best. Now let's have a look at gold rare. Let's have a look where they're at at the moment. So gold rare, we've got nothing under there. 1.5, we've got a Wilson there, which I just can barely afford. Right, so this is not a bad filter. So obviously, as you can see, we need some coins. Now we go over the transfer list, Pulisic already sold. So we've already made a bit off of him. Now if we cop a few of these and we sell them on quickly, once again, we're already gonna be making a decent amount. So let's have a look here. Uh, what's the mark for the gold rare strikers? Okay, so these guys, you've got Wilson is literally the lowest price one at the minute. He's coming in at 2.5k, so that one point whatever there wasn't bad. Now Jimenez is there as well. Both of these players, Wilson probably more so, are going to go up. Um, of course, once the game really fully releases, I do think a lot of players will be going up quite heavily. Now Jimenez there, I just want to work out the mark before we actually start buying these guys. So Wilson there, and if we go to Nation Mexico, um, so we can check what Jimenez is going for. Am I... Right, Mexico. So Jimenez goes for a minimum of 2-2, two, two, realistic, 2-4. Two, so EA tax, we're looking to buy really either of them 2.1 or below. Wilson has too many at 2.1, so we'll say 2K is kind of a mark. Uh, I'd say, okay, so the compare price method does still work. Let's have a go at boshing this out, see if we can get... Okay, we'll take a Jimenez there, because he goes for 2.4, so that's a small little profit there off the bat. Now, you can see, looking at the price range, EA are expecting them to go up a little bit in price. So that's obviously what we're expecting as well. Now, I'm not really invested in these guys. So rather than it being that kind of thing, this is more immediate profit. Now, as you can see there, we just got a 1.7. So these are kind of the, the cards you want to be going for at the minute. The reason this is a very simple, basic video, guys, is just because I want to teach you the simple ways to make coins at the start. A lot of you are going to be possibly having troubles with that. I know it's not always the easiest thing to do at the start of a FIFA to make a ton of coins. Now, obviously we've got multiple ways that you can do this method. You can obviously Calvert-Lewin there for a K. Oh, that one might be a good one. I feel like Calvert-Lewin, it goes for a lot more. So I think we may have fluffed that a little bit. There's a couple of him coming up there. Okay, so let's have a look on the compare price again. I keep backing out. I think compare price might be a little bit harder this year because of that. Let's have a look. Any... Oh, that's a fluff. We fluffed that one. Anything under 2K, really, I want to be picking up quite quickly. Uh, 1.9 isn't something I'm rushing for, but the, the lower ones, Jimenez there again. So we are getting beat out a little bit. It seems like a few people are clocking onto this one. So we'll knock it down a little bit, pop it down to 1.8. See if we can go for that. Let's see. Straight off the bat, we've got Jimenez. As you can see, they are going fast, guys. So it's something you want to be not weary of I suppose but you just need to get your your speed up a little bit there we've got two there not too bad I can sell both of them uh, for a nice 2.2 we'll see how quickly they're selling as well we want to see if these guys are going like hotcakes or if they're not really going so fast at all so 2.2 there and let's have a look 2.2 here so let's have a look if they're selling immediately you can see my coins balance is getting a little bit lower now, on my transfer list, we've already sold a little bit there. So we've got the two Jimenez, they're going quickest. So obviously Wilson doesn't seem to be going as quickly. So let's focus a little bit more if we can on Jimenez. So if we go to the search, uh, back at the 2.1, Jimenez might not be coming up as much. Got him one there. Let's see if we can get another one. Obviously it's always good while you're doing your methods to work out who is gonna be better for you. There are times when sometimes actually coming out and stopping, aren't going to benefit you but with this he's going up and down in price so much Wilson and Jimenez both so we want to make sure that we're really picking the right ones I mean that one's definitely gone the the 1.4s in either of them are definitely worth the the take in because oh that one oh yeah I fluffed that one definitely fluffed that one right that's pretty poor from me because we missed quite a good one there um Let's have a look at sniping, 1.7 and below. Just because we don't want to obviously stick on the same range. We want to make it up and down. We do want to give it a good go. Let's say 1.2 for an Antonio, 1.5 for Jimenez. And I didn't get that either. That is just poor sniping from me. I think they've almost made it harder to snipe, but I'm not sure if that might just be me having a little bit of a fluff with it. Um, I feel like they have made it a little bit harder to snipe, but uh, it could just be 
me kind of getting used to it again again so we'll have a look see if we can get one here i feel like if we don't get one here it might be the game doing us in a bit oh that was close once again wilson getting up for quite low prices i feel like he's getting really low priced now um which is good but i feel like this means also some of my my ones might not sell on so we're gonna have to lower them a bit we won't lose coins because we start for quite a good profit on a lot of them but hopefully we can also get a few more um, I'm seeing a lot of Wilson snipes here, so I feel like maybe he's not the one to focus on. So let's move over to Defender. Um, let's have a look at the centre backs and see where they're set at. So Matip there. So it seems like these guys are a little bit better priced maybe. Matip. Is there anyone else coming in? No, so it's just Matip. Obviously, there's going to be players in the similar range, but Matip seems to be by far the cheapest. So 2k there, there's a few. We'll snipe at 1.7, see what we can get. I think that I, I'm convinced that they're like, is, is it me or is this harder to buy? Right, let me let me try to do the next one slow. I feel like I'm doing this. Okay, right, okay, so that, it, it, it is me. Um, we'll grab that one down and put him up to 2k, so not too bad. Um, that's like a, a 200 coin profit there, so it could be a little bit worse. Um, obviously, we're trying to make big margins, but we'll take the small ones as well. Obviously, there's a few people, probably with bots on the game already, I can presume... I guess there's probably one or two bots out there. Um, I can't imagine that no one's using bots because there always is people using bots. Now, obviously what you want to do on top of this is you do want to go through your club and check what you've got that might be of value. So if we go through my club, for example, and um, we go onto my, um, once again, transfer list, so we can see some people have sold. So we've got a Wilson going at 2K. So they're definitely going to sell for 2K, which is brilliant. My transfer targets, um, we've got a Jimenez there who's already sold. Now, if you go on your targets, I believe if you click in, it's not your target, it's your list. So if we go on my list here, um, we've also sold someone else, I believe. So we go here on who we've got and who we'll be selling. Now, Ferran Torres here, if you list him on the transfer market, compare price, I think he'll go for a little bit more than that, so I'm gonna hold out for now. Sirogu, once again, think he'll go for a little bit more, and Digne, so we've got my Digne here. Um, he looks like he'll go for a little bit more. I'm hoping for quite a high price on him. He's always been quite a, a high roller. Someone else who I'm, I'm quite convinced in is Fred. And then we've also got the likes of Camavinga. Now Camavinga, I definitely want to wait until the game's out because 3.7 doesn't seem right to me for him. Now I am going to release a simple sweaty starter squad at some point today as well. But I hope this has kind of been a good basis for just starting off getting you guys used to FIFA and I hope it's you know a nice welcome back message I hope you've enjoyed uh, make sure to subscribe for more we will have a ton of content I just wanted to get the first video out and I'll see you guys tomorrow